Welcome back to the Veal of Bobs, where we'd like to remind you, it takes guts to be an organ donor. But seriously out of most videos I've seen on YouTube, I've noticed that most other divas use Photoshop or another premium service when creating their artwork. Today I want to show you that you can use just a free basic service like Krita, to get the same results. Of course, I'm no artist, but we're just making a cool little bloody spike to throw in our game. This is not a Krita tutorial, but I will say this, the eraser is your best friend. I'll just add a few more little details here, and we'll be done. There are many many things to cover using Krita, like making different layers and drawing tools and such. The main thing here is after you're finished your drawing to save as a PNG file. You can either save in a random folder, like how I will, or you can directly save the file in your game's asset folder. If you're doing it the first way, then open up the folder you saved your file, and simply drag and drop into your asset folder on Unity. Unity will load the image into its assets, and you'll be able to use it. Hmm, it seems that we forgot one thing on our Krita file. I mentioned layers before but I'll go back and take the background layer off. We only want the image of the sprites and not the white background around it. If we leave it in our sprite would look like this. And that's no bueno because you couldn't separate the spikes from the rest. So I'll go back and re-save the file without the background and re-import it to Unity. First I'll delete the current spike sprite. Open the sprite editor and see the white background is gone. Go back and make sprite multiple and slice and boom. You've successfully drawn an image with a free software and imported it into Unity. Don't forget to name your sprite here. Now we're up to speed. Now we can drag it on in. Mission complete. Next we'll be giving it some script and making our player take damage. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace.